Uh, here I am at the start of the St. James. So um, this is a four to five day tramp, um, 67 kilometres. And I'm starting from the um, Lewis Pass car park. And I'm walking back to Boyle Village. <coughs> um, yeah, so I'll be heading off down the track. Um, I'm hoping to get to Ada Hut today. So that's roughly about three and a half hours away from here um, and I'll be stopping at Cannibal Gorge Hut for um, lunch today. There's the uh, tarn up at uh, Lewis Pass, just start point for the St James and then uh, that's the start of the St James trek just right there. So here I am starting off Uh, the weather's supposed to be decent today, but um, it's Monday today, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday the weather's not fantastic. Um, there's rain tomorrow on Tuesday and rain on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Just walking through Goblin Forest to start with. Just walking over a big long stretch of uh, boardwalk to start with. Uh, we're heading down towards the Maruria River Bridge. Yeah, so you can see it's 4 hours and 20 minutes to Ada Pass Hut. Uh, it's about 13 k's. There's a um, We Intentions book here, um, so you can see how many people are on the track. Um, I'm going at the beginning of the week, so I should be okay. But um, I've got a tent and camping equipment to use if I have to. So I'm uh, heading downhill uh, into Cannibal Gorge. Um, that's kind of like the headwaters of the Maruria River. Um, there's a bridge we have to cross there. Got this uh, side stream running next to me here as I'm uh, walking down to Cannibal Gorge. We cross it about another couple of hundred metres down the track. Blown out stream bed there. That wasn't like that the last time I came through. Was five years ago, of course. Half an hour down the track, and I'm still heading down to um, the bridge. It's about another half an hour away. Yeah, so uh, I've just started walking the uh, St. James Walkway. I'm about half an hour in. Um, this is a five day tramp that I'm doing. Um, I'm quite heavy laid down with like camping gear because uh, you can't book the huts on this track so you have to take camping gear in case the huts are busy. It's a Monday so I'm not envisaging it's going to be too busy but it's hard to know. So yeah. Um, we're heading down to Cannibal Gorge Bridge at the moment, which is the first waypoint. Um, and then it's about another two hours from there to Cannibal Gorge Hut, uh, where I'll be stopping to have some lunch. So there's uh, Cannibal Gorge Bridge over the Upper Maruria River. There's the uh, Maruria River, the upper reaches of it. Series of uh, bridges and steps and stairs here to get you down to the swing bridge.
Cannibal Gorge Bridge. I'll stop out in the middle so that uh, you can see up the river. Uh, over the bridge you're just climbing up and then sidling along um, up above the river. About an hour in now. I forgot how much uh, uphill climbing there was down at this end of the track. You have to climb up out of Cannibal Gorge. Yeah. Just rolling along. That's the uh, route up to Henry Saddle in the Zampa Tops. Just sideline along the side of the hill here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm two hours in, so I'm probably about two thirds of the way to the first hut. Yeah, just walking through some uh, red beach forest at the moment. It's real dense and wet. Uh, one of the hazards on this track are um, uh, avalanches. Um, there's a couple of big avalanche shoots off the hills around here. And so, um, really, you have to be very, very careful coming through here between May and November each year because an avalanche could come flying down the chute at any time. Yeah. Uh, that's one of those avalanche shoots over there. The uh, mountains around here, they they go up to near nearly 3,000 metres, like 2,700 metres, something like that. So they get a pile of snow up on top of them at times of the year. Probably about half an hour away from uh, Cannibal Gorge Hut. Maybe a K and a half or something like that. Bit of an open area, um, you could camp here if you wanted to. Uh, that's Cannibal Gorge Hut um, Swing Bridge. Uh, that's about 500 metres away from the hut. Um, just climbing up over the last spur before the hut uh, for Cannibal uh, Gorge Hut. Yeah, they've rerouted the track. You have to climb way up this uh, hillside. Um, there must be a slip round the track. You used to sidle along just above the river. That's a uh, bit of permalit. That's how they used to mark the tracks. It's uh, Venetian blind, um, parts of the blind cut into wee strips. That's the uh, edge of the forest. When I walk down there we'll be able to see the hut. It's about maybe a hundred metres away. I can just see it through the trees. There's Cannibal Gorge Hut just over there. It's 
the inside of the hut. This hut's due for a replacement really. It's getting a bit old and tetty. People don't look after it. This hut has a uh, unusual um, three bunk uh, series. There's like uh, three platforms in each of the bunk rooms. That's just so they can cram the maximum number of people in. Um, yeah, so I'm setting off uh, Ada Pass. It's in an hour and a half from here. Um, yeah, I should probably stay here, honestly. But it's just if I stay here, it's like a five hour trip tomorrow round to Christopher Hut and it's supposed to be raining so I should really get as far along the track as I possibly can. So anyway I'll set off, it should take me about an hour and a half, uh, it's like just short of 4k's, yeah. So we're just heading off into the forest this way. So we're just walking through some silver beach forest. Another big clearing to walk across. I'm only a couple of hundred metres away from the hut. I can smell wood smoke actually. Not very far away from the hut. It's in this clearing, uh, it's around the corner of those trees there. Man, I'm naked. I'll be uh, glad to sit down and have a bit of a rest and a cup of tea, I think. I need to pass hut. Different weather today, it's really hazing with rain.